characteristics of proteins. Proteins also are used by the body to transport materials and cells and provide structures. Here are examples of food high in proteins. First is meat, second is fish, third is milk, and fourth is eggs. In vegetarian, need to monitor their food intake to ensure they get all the essential amino acids. The building blocks of protein. The basic building block of protein is called amino acid. There are 20 amino acids in the proteins within your body and they link together to form a large protein molecules. In essential amino acids, they cannot be made by the body. As a result, they must come from food. Chirality and amino acids. Chirality and amino acids. All amino acids except glycine are chiral molecules. This means that they form isomers that are superposable mirror images of each other. High amino acids and chiral carbon is the alpha carbon na bonded into hydrogen. Acid base properties of amino acids. Cysteine, a chemically unique amino acid. Cysteine is a chemically unique amino acid. Cysteine is one of two sulfur containing amino acids. The other is methylene. Cysteine differs from serine in a single atom. The sulfur of the third replaces the oxygen of the alcohol. It can also react with itself to form an oxidized dimer by formation of a disulfide band. General Characteristics of Proteins General characteristics of proteins. Proteins are large complex molecules that have a variety of functions in the body and are essential to good health, like fats and carbohydrates. Proteins are long polymer chains. They are made from amino acids and are used by organisms to build structures, facilitate chemical processes, and give an animal locomotion. So here, here are the structures of uh, proteins. First is the primary structure, second is secondary structures, third is tertiary structures, and fourth is quaternary structures. In primary structures, it refers to the sequence of amino acids in the polypeptide chain. It is also held together by peptides that are made during the process of protein biosynthesis. In 
and secondary structures. In secondary structures, elements typically spontaneously form as an intermediate before the protein folds into its three-dimensional tertiary structures. Secondary structures is formally defined by the pattern of hydrogen bands between the amino hydrogen and carboxyl oxygen atoms in the peptide backbone. Tertiary structures. In tertiary structures, it is the three-dimensional shape of the things. The tertiary structures will have a single polypeptide chain, the backbone, with one or more protein secondary structures, the protein domains. Last is the quaternary structures. Quaternary structures is the number and arrangement of multiple folded protein subunits in a multi-subunit complex.